Hi, Rick Jolinas. Uh, many of you know me as the NCAP man. The reason why I've gotten that nickname is because I've been involved with encapsulation from the beginning of it in our carpet cleaning industry. The idea of encapsulation chemistry has been around for quite a while. However, the polymer technologies have changed drastically in recent years, and that has given us the opportunity to use new crystallizing polymers that will encapsulate soil, which will enable the soil to be removed from the carpet during the post-vacuuming process. It's an amazing system. We're able to clean at very high production rates, and the carpets will stay cleaner longer between the individual cleanings. As we all know, 79% of soil in carpet is dry soil. That means what the customer wants us to clean is the 21%, the smaller number. That's the part that's sticking to the carpet fiber. So what we're doing with encapsulation is we're going to remove what's binding to the fiber into a fluid that will crystallize and release from the fiber in the post-vacuuming process. The Symex machine is one of the most popular machines used for encapsulation cleaning. There are a number of machines that can be used. I'll demonstrate how we operate the Symex machine in just a second. The first thing that we do is we obviously mix the detergent according to the directions. So we're going to mix this particular product at four ounces per gallon. Put it in with our hot water. And then we put the detergent into the machine. We just snap the pad driver onto the Cymex, put the Fiber Plus pad onto the machine. If you're using a rotary machine, you can also use the Fiber Plus pads to give us good agitation of the carpet fiber. Simply tip the head of the machine down onto the carpet, and we're ready to go. One of the unique things about the Cymex machine is the planetary head. As you'll notice, as the head is turning clockwise right now, the drivers are heading in the opposite direction. By scrubbing in both directions, we have a very safe machine. One of the neat features about the Cymex too is how safe it is on the carpet fiber. We can turn the machine on and actually let go of it. It won't go anywhere. It just sits there stationary on the carpet. The head's turning. Very safe, easy to operate. Even a child can do it. There are a couple of different techniques that we use with the Cymex machine or with any encapsulation machine. The primary way that we want to apply the detergent is to hold the valve open completely and we make a wet pass walking at a moderate pace then we turn back around and make a slower dry pass on the dry pass we'll tap the trigger just a couple of times as we're making that dry pass to keep the pads wet so that we can make a nice smooth dry pass that dual wet pass dry pass method puts us in the 2,000 square foot range of carpet cleaning another technique that we do is just simply making a single wet pass but we just feather the trigger in this case we're at 3,000 and above 3,000 square feet per hour and above there's a third method for heavily soiled areas where we'll actually use the same product, the same encapsulation detergent, as a pre-spray first, mix it as a pre-spray and pre-spray the carpet, and then we'll make a wet pass followed by two or three dry passes. So we're making a total of three or four passes. In this case, even a very trashed out carpet can be restored to very nice conditions. So the typical method, again, to, re to review, one wet pass followed by a dry pass. For cleaner areas, we make a single wet pass, just feathering the solution as we go, and for very soiled areas, we'll pre-spray with the detergent according to the mixture on the jug, and then we'll make a wet pass followed by two or three dry passes. Interesting piece of equipment that's come to the industry is the Carpet Avenger. It's a propane-powered carpet scrubber. You may be familiar with propane-powered floor buffers that spin at 2,000 RPM. Well, this has been geared down and modified for carpet scrubbing for large applications. We're able to clean at 6,000 plus square feet per hour pumps the detergent onto the carpet from a SureFlow pump built into the system. It's truly an amazing piece of equipment for large commercial areas. Under the machine we have a Fiber Plus pad and a 3 inch brush row making a 21 inch scrubbing pass. You'll also notice how this machine has been geared down to 200 RPM firing our SureFlow pump on the machine. Truly an amazing piece of equipment. Additionally, there are a number of cylindrical scrubbers. I'm demonstrating a multi-purpose scrubber here called the Sprint that can be used for carpet cleaning as well as textured flooring. On textured flooring, it scrubs the flooring, such as ceramic tile and grout, and collects the water into a recovery tray. On carpet, for commercial carpet cleaning, we're able to run at 1,000 square feet to 2,000 square feet per hour in an overlapping pass like you see demonstrated here. We just simply push the machine and work it across kind of like running an upright vacuum cleaner. Very simple operation.
lightweight, easy to operate, good for smaller encapsulation cleaning jobs. Another method of encapsulation cleaning is with a rotary machine or an oscillating pad machine where we use either a cotton terry towel, bonnet, or a fiber plus pad for encapsulation cleaning. It's a slower method than the ones that we've seen earlier with the Cymex or with a, a carpet scrubber, obviously, like the cylindrical or the, even the propane machine. But it's very effective and it's a nice opportunity if you've got this type of equipment to get into encapsulation cleaning. So let me show you how we do that. We simply spray the carpet with the encapsulation detergent and we run over it with the rotary or oscillating pad machine. And here it is with the cotton terry bonnet type pad application. And in just that small of an area, look what we've pulled from the carpet. And now we'll show a wider cylindrical machine. Again, we spray the carpet with the encapsulation detergent. And then we take the machine, very simple, turn it on. And just simply run over the carpet. One of the unique features of cylindrical machines is their ability to lift the pile. Let me show you how we can actually put two attachments on the uh, cylindrical machine and use it to collect dry soil as well. Now I'm going to demonstrate how with the attachment of the collection hoppers to this uh, cylindrical machine can be used as a pile lifter that will not only lift the pile but also recover the dry soil. So now what we have is an encapsulation machine that doubles as a pile lifter. Let me show you. Let me dump all this crud on the carpet. Is that enough? Then we simply snap these onto the front of the machine and on the back of the machine like this. Very simple. Turn the machine on. And there you have it. If you hadn't seen it, you probably wouldn't have believed it, that we can lift the pile and pick up that amount of crud from the carpet. Here it is, all back in the recovery trays once again. And, and here you can see all of the debris that we've picked up in the collection hopper. I'd like to thank you for giving consideration to encapsulation cleaning. Hopefully it will make a difference in your business as it has in mine.